Okay, in today's episode we're going to be addressing a couple of the changes that I want to make to the network and continuing to work on improving our links around Reading as we crack on with the next episode of City Bus Manager from here in Basingstoke slash Reading. We're going to call it the South West Safe from now on, I think. Welcome back to City Bus Manager. Yes, hello boys, girls, and all of them too. My name is Mikael, and welcome back to City Bus Manager. Now, today what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to record one episode to see how much time I've got left, and then may record a second one. So maybe another two that recorded one straight after the other. But the reason for this is I have a lot of plans in my mind, and if I do just end up recording like a one-hour session, I'll just split it into two. Because one thing that I'm noticing firstly is we have got a lot of key areas that need serving. We have feel down here, which is just there, that needs serving. There's all this over here and up here, and there's also these two places up this top here including Twyford but more importantly we did the 108 last episode which I will talk about in a moment and we have then since that map expansion gave us Wokingham and that is of course a very key location to serve so what am I planning on doing today well the first thing we're gonna do is service uh, changes and vehicle uh, number increases and then we're gonna be doing a couple of route extensions so the first thing we're gonna do is just address an elephant in the room which is if we go to today's shift schedule and we go to Longwater there is a rather big bus shortage now I'm looking at Basingstoke at the moment I don't think we have enough spare buses down here really we may do but there's nothing sticking out to me plus I kind of like the idea of giving that depot leaving it to have a couple of spare vehicles if it does have so um, just so that we can actually um, utilize those further down the road. Now, I may move the spare tires up if we can't do much else, but we do still have two more loans to take out, including a £240,000 one. So, what I'm actually going to do is take that one, repay the 175 um, and let's see if we take this one and repay that maybe. Okay, well, that was a bad idea, but we still have an, we've 156000 now. We're making 200000 a day. Um, now, because obviously yesterday is our first day with the new and expanded network. We're making free, basically, in the weekdays we're making a lot. I don't know why on Friday we made so little, but I, oh yeah, Friday to Sunday was that pandemic. That's why we made so little money. So we're making a lot of money each day, but we do need to address the elephant in the room, which is that when we go to our long water depot, we are running out of buses and fast. So let's have a look what we need. So the R1 needs electric 80 plus, and we have three more of those we need at least. Um, we could probably get away with two though, because those two could be on the same bus. And then 1405 star. There isn't actually any 80 plus ones really that we can use for that, that I know of, that I've seen. I was looking before. Hmm. Actually, what if... Because that's shift from... Why doesn't that go on there? Did the game not work that out? Oh, I know what it is, because I've got a setting changed. I've got the setting on it a quarter of an hour. It, the problem we're going to run the risk of here, I mean, I mean, it has to happen, is... There is going to be buses that may well struggle to actually run. Mind you, but then what are we going to do? Then we still need two more buses, don't we? Because the 1450, the only other thing that could go on is there, but then we can't put the 1505 anywhere. So we're going to need at least three more. So what we'll do, how much is a brand new Electro Liner? Again, because I don't remember. Solo buses, GB Kite Electro Liner, 35,500. The Hydro Liners are cheaper a lot too. Is that because they're not electric? Because I mean, I know they're not represented as hydrogen in the game, but I guess they still count, right? But I want to do a livery for that. Like, I want to do a hydrogen-based livery. We might do a... We may do um, a livery for that, because I've got an idea for a hydrogen livery, but I do need time to do that. Let's order three of these. Now, what are we specking these out to, actually? My bus is everything but premium seats. So, buy new bus. It's fine. So, we'll have a look. If we get three of these, we're going to cost... That's going to cost us go four that's going to cost us all we have so far let's do that for now that will start us there which is good let's get these uh, livery and of course as i was predicting was roughly true um i couldn't i didn't actually check on the percent but i did predict roughly that um today's episode would come out after the 24 plates are a thing and it is true of course the first of march has now been and gone so the fact i put the reason i did 24 plates as i said to you in the previous part was simply because um, I needed to, I wanted to, um, hmm, you are, you need repairing, Christ, and you're out of five foot, ah, right, can I, will you repair quick enough, potentially, let's find out, the, the mechanics are pretty talented, I do need to look at staffing actually, that's something else I'm going to address shortly, the street line is repairing, sounds like real life, that they always need repairing street lights, don't they, that's why I don't really want them, I, I do wonder, 
sometimes if there is a reliability element to this game because if there is that would make the other vehicles more popular more like de getting different vehicles more logical and if not i wonder how we can do that right let's head down here then so we'll move these up in the depot to be with the other ones i think just so it's nice and even in here i could have got more yutong e12s actually but we'll keep those as they are for now so we're up to E4415, it looks like. So let's just move this up then, see if we can find... Well, we, this is a good time of the day to buy them as well, because obviously nothing's out yet. Um, again, I know that putting things in the right place is more of an OCD thing. And I don't actually have OCD, but like it's more of an OCD thing than anything. Like, personal gripe, but I do like to keep things neat in the depot. So I will be sticking to that. So let's just move these along... Oh, no, you're going there, aren't you? Yep. And then you are the next one to go. I'll have to move them both. They move at the same time. Okay, cool. There we go. Brilliant. Right, let's um, keep going. So we'll go with the same batch for now, because we have this new batch of uh, XFA, XF1. So we'll just keep going from that batch for now. So BJ24, XFC. By the way, BJ was not a comical name that I chose. It's an actual uh, reg plate. It's currently being used for a lot of the new... Um, or the, the lettering is being used for a lot of the new stuff to uh, England, uh, to, yeah, across the UK in the right bus world, hence why I've done that. So it's just, it just happens to be a funny combo of letters. BJ24 XFE, E, don't know why I want to type that, E4417. And uh, so we have 18 of these already. So we will definitely, the next batch I think we'll get, or the next fleet of buses we'll get will definitely be. Um, E4, 4, 1, 8. Now, of course, these are smaller, the Utah E12s, aren't they? They're, oh, they're bigger. No, they're not. I'm clicking the wrong. Why is it clicking a BZL? Weird. Utah. There we go. So these are 79. These are 85. This could get away with 80 plus, really, but we'll go with 70 to 80 on that, and we'll just see when they fit. So now, assigned buses, assigned bus drivers. We just have a 110 spare. So now there's a spare one, which this is what I mean. It doesn't always work, but what we'll do, we'll put that on there, because um, that works. But speaking of the 110, we are going to need more buses for that anyway, because what I'm going to do next is extend the 110. Uh, no, we're not going to do that next. And so, uh, speaking of the 110, we are going to address that shortly. But before we do that, let's just quickly um, sort the 108. So something was mentioned to me in the previous episode, and I did like this idea. So obviously, our current route numbers are based on stuff running out of Basingstoke. And the 100s and the 90s could be run out of that depot, you know, the Basingstoke depot, so like the 90s and stuff south and the 100 stuff north, which means we'll always have like a stream of things. Now, what that does mean is the 99 may become the 90, may become the, um, yeah, like the 91 potentially, but we'll go, we'll count downwards that way. So it'll be 99 heading south and then 98 might go down this way, somewhere like maybe straight south. But what it also means is that there's two routes that I want to change the numbers of because it was suggested that the 108, because it's a cross city route like that, it shouldn't be a 100 route, um, which, in my save, it would be because it is a, it's still a long distance route, but at the same time, it's not really super long distance. If you look at it, it's just very popular. It's sort of like, well, mind you, no, it is pretty long distance, yeah, but um, it is a different depot, and it made me think, and it's a good suggestion, that we could use sort of two-digit numbers in Reading. Now, I want to save one to nine, uh, so single digit itself, um, for specific uses. In, in, in that case, what I'm actually thinking of is two potential free buses that won't actually be free, which would be the one and the two, which would be like a city circular, potentially around the center of Reading, which we might do. But I think the 108 could become the 10. So this will be now the 10 from Winners to Whit Whitchurch on Thames. And we may extend that down to um, Wokington, Wokingham. However, I think what we're going to do is have an 11 service, which is going to go from Reading Centre through Wokingham and potentially head down this way somewhere later down the line. Now, the 110 is also going to be changed. So the 110, of course, is run... That's interesting. Oh, does it not count the, R, the, the letters? Or did I do something different there? Why is that R21 below the 10? That's interesting. Does it not actually count the letters then? How strange. Okay, that's slightly annoying, but I don't mind it too much. Um, so the one, the, the 10, sorry, uh, as I'm now going to remember to call it, the 10 won't actually be starting too soon, um, as it's going to need quite a number of buses. So if we have a look, um, let me leave the game running, actually, because we do want to keep making money. If we go to edit timetable and click easy mode, you'll see that we are going to struggle with this route, because this is, obviously, it's got this timetable on the side, the 15-minute one, because that's the next timetable, or the first timetable of the day for the first few buses. But it does give you a scale of the number of passengers each day and the amount of uh, buses that you should require to operate the full timetable, so all the ones that the um, vehicles will do. 
me just check what we're up to on time for recording. Okay, we're not too bad. We're about 10 minutes in. Um, I do think we're probably going to just record for an hour and we'll see. Um, but yeah, as you can see, it's 295 passengers already and that's with 21 buses. Yes, 21. I can't actually believe that myself. Um, so that's going to be really tough to, to work with and they're going to have to be deckers as well. So we're going to have to look at that later down the line. We're going to have to make a lot of money before we do that. So what we're going to do instead is we're going to extend the 110. Now the 110 is also going to be renumbered. Now because it's going to, we're going to put the new route in first and then we're going to renumber it. So the 110 currently goes to Alder Mason down here and goes through Miroc Park and Ride. We are going to, no, through Miroc Free Mile Cross. We're going to take this section out. So this road here will lose uh, a service, but we'll bring this back later. There'll be a new service from Reading that will come down there. So temporarily that is going to be lost. And we're going to take it through Miroc Park and Ride. And then it's going to go a fast route into um, Reading. So it will actually have a much quicker route um, past here, but up until Three Mile Cross coming from Old Maston, for example, it will be a slower service. Um, the reason I'm doing this is I really like the idea of having more and more services into the city center. As one thing I'm learning from um, Newcastle as well is with cities, it's really important to get a very frequent number of buses and a number of services coming through your city center to try and reduce the numbers elsewhere. So that's basically what we're attempting to achieve here. So that should scrap these two. Brilliant, so we're now back to the post office. So opposite post office. We're then gonna go to Miroc Lane Turn there. So it's still close to where it used to serve. And then over to Miroc Park and Ride, which it should go, might go straight across there. That actually, I'm not too bothered by that, but I think what we will do is have it go, no, because it's gonna turn around in there anyway, isn't it? Um, yeah, so two Miroc Park and Ride, and then we're going to have it come back on the main road here. Uh, there is a busway here. Now, I think that's a one-way busway coming this way, not the other way. But we're going to go to Reading International Business Park from there. So then that should go... Um, what's that doing? That is an interesting route. I don't think that's going to work. I actually don't know how possible that turning is either. I guess technically we should just stop here then. We'll stop there. Come on, let's see. It's fine, and we'll give it a new number in a moment. We're just going to decide based on the route it takes. Someone did suggest that, by the way, that the what I just called the 10 should be under the, the R series. I don't think so. Oh, I tell you where this can go. I know exactly where this route can go, so we'll come to Reading Gateway. Um, but yeah, the, the R series of routes are going to be our local routes, so it's like the 900 routes out of Basingstoke and other depots that we usually do. It's the same f concept as that. All right, so hold on a bit. Little's here. Let's stop it there. I don't know what the little is. But it's, it's in the area of Whitley Wood, so we're going to call it Whitley Wood Little. Uh, I haven't redone all the stops, actually. I've just thought that. May well do that after I've recorded this, depending on how much time I've got left. Um, I'm saying that because I'm off to work after this, but it's a weirdly late starting shift. They happen on some Saturdays. Let's have a look. So if I go to there... Oh, that works. Yeah, so like a little stop there. We could even maybe bring it... Well, it's going to stop there on the other way, actually. It's down here. And Call Callington Road, or Callington Road? I guess Callington. I'm just saying, because we haven't served this pretty key looking road because it's obviously got shops and stuff down so we could go straight down where's it gone straight down this road here and then up and just join the other routes now this could remain a 100 series route but it is coming from somewhere that's not operated by it's not running by the basing stoke depot basically so i think this one may become our maybe our 20 this could be the 20 i guess or the 21 maybe because it's not going anywhere direct well, that's the point maybe because it's not going somewhere direct we could go for a higher number like the 51 that could work we'll do that we'll call it the 51 from now on Okay, that's fine then. I like that. In fact, let's change that now before we forget. And um, we're going to do 51. Now, it starts at Alder Mason, this route, which is a bit annoying. Um, really, it wants to start at Reading, but it's not too bad. We'll do this, and we'll just call it to uh, really Reading Station. It goes to, won't it? So, Reading Station. Would it be run? Because it's run from Longwater, and obviously, Alder Mason's only over here. So, it sort of goes, I think it goes this way, out of service. Um, so, that's fine. And it's just it's just another connection into the, si the city, you know? Um... Eventually, when we expand this network in Reading, and I mean, Reading is going to create so much content and route potential for this save. Of course, the one downside is there is potentially a point where my computer can't handle recording this save anymore because obviously we're already starting to create a massive amount of content for the game to load each time I load up the game. That sounds really weird. No. Like, when I load it up. Yeah, load up the game after that sentence made no sense. Right, let's go to Bridge Street there. And we are going to run this one to Reading Station, so we're going to stop at... Some, we're going to go to... Should we go St. Mary's Butts or Friar Street? Let's go Friar Street. Is it FL where the um, the other routes stop? Sorry, I don't think that noise came through then. Didn't check. Yeah, the 100 and that stop there. And then to Reading Station. Should we go there for the 100? Why is there a... Oh yeah, we changed it, didn't we? The 100 is no longer Deckers. Yeah, the 100, the R6, and then the D10 also go there. 
So that's a good interchange point with those routes because I don't know which stops are here. I think this... What stops at this point? Because it might be better to run it there. We'll have a look. 106 and 105 and the 101. Okay, we'll do it to there then So because those are more key interchanges there then. So run it to there. So to Reading Station. And then coming out of Reading Station, we're going to go... Um, because obviously it will terminate at Reading Station up there. I guess we could start it there, couldn't we? That could be interesting. No, how about we do that? We could start it at this stop here, couldn't we? And then, what we can do is run it. We won't stop there, but we can go round to Fryer Street this way. So I think if we can go stop FP, it will figure the quickest route to it. I hope. See, it wants to go down there, but I know the buses can go down Blargrave Street. Blargrave or Blagrave? I don't know. I'd say Blargrave. I don't know if a bus can fit down there, that's all. So I don't want to do it just in case. It'd be quicker, obviously, but I don't want to do it just in case. And then we're not going to stop at St Mary's Bus. We're going to go straight through. Bridge Street, I hope, is a two-way road. If not, then that's going to make a real big uh, issue for us. Uh, I don't know if that is working. It looks like it. You can't tell when you're adding to an existing route. And then if we go to there, it will tell us. Because, well, can you go like that? Or does it... Oh, no, that doesn't work. Or does that work? Yeah, because that's going over there, isn't it? And then down to here. Okay, and then if I go to there, it should... It's because this bit's hard to judge because it's it's trying to get it back to Three Mile Cross, Basingstoke Road. Uh, to where the post office is. Yeah, no, that's working. Okay, cool. To Silver Street, which I did add the stops, the Route 100 to. I hope I did anyway. I'm sure I did, right? Yeah, 101, sorry. Where's the 100 go then? Oh, the 100 came down here. Oh, maybe it goes, no, it goes a different way, doesn't it? Oh, the 106, I'm thinking of. That's it. Whitley Street. There. We'll stop opposite there for Christchurch Gardens. This Christchurch Court there, that will get served. This bit here, like the side roads, they'll get served by another R series route at some point. Um, I am tempted also to do a, potentially do like a uh, transdev style branding for our R series routes. So do let me know if you like the sound of that, because I'm thinking we could do like um, a sort of Reading something. I don't want to call it Reading Rovers because that feels like I'm genuinely just copying Transdev, but it could work where we call it something similar. The Reading Ramblers. There you go. <laughs> it's very similar. No, we'll, we'll see what we can do. We'll probably just be called Reading Locals, actually, just to be simple. Um, we'll see what, what works on the branding. I do need to play with some liveries, and I will be doing that, hopefully, not too far from now. My free time is starting to increase again as the uh, weeks go on. Obviously, you've just come back from that holiday, so that's not helped. This is called Holiday in this stop, and I'm going to just call this... I put, I'll call it one just Little, but... Just call this uh, Adjacent Little. Well, let's say Outside Little. There, we'll just do that for now. Might well change that as well. And then up here to Wharton Drive at Reading Gateway. And then... Reading International Business Park. So again, I think, like for example, this road here, I think, is potentially a busway. I'm not too sure. I know this one is just here because it says Mere Oak Busway on it. Now, if you select this bus stop, it don't think it necessarily uses that by default. It might do now. No, it does now, yeah. So it uses... No, it doesn't use it by default. For some reason, I don't know how the game works it out, but this is the quickest way. So I added this waypoint onto the other route as well that comes to there. Or like, between those two stops. Um, so you will have potentially seen that before I added this in. Back to Mere Oak Park and ride. And... F come on. And finally... Mere Oak Lane turn. Now, I don't know which way it's going to go to that, because I don't know if this road is two-way. Is it? It is. Okay, good. Brilliant. So that's our new and improved Route 110, which is now the Route 51. And I'll rename the allocations as well. But let's just have a look at the passenger numbers now. We are going to ignore them initially because we're going to have to improve the fleet because we could sell the metro cities here, uh, which will make some people happy. Or we might keep them actually and run them on something else in a bit. So let's just go to easy mode first. Running every half an hour, what's the frequency and number of buses required? Because it's a long route that, so it will need quite a few. That needs 10, but the passenger volume is insane. We go down to t every 10 minutes. We're not going to do this yet. This is just a proof of concept. So if we do it in every 10 minute frequency, which we will work towards, but we need to monitor how many buses we need for that. Because it's in theory it should be about, it's probably going to be 30 buses, which sounds insane. But normal for a city, yeah, 20 buses, 185, so it's still too many p passengers per journey. So we're going to have to have this at like an 8 minute frequency. 
long term. It's going to stay half an hour for now. The buses will be crowded, but it could be for one or two game uh, in-game days. So that's fine. We won't necessarily need to change too much here. We just need to have a look at the timetables, obviously, because we've extended the route. And we need to change the stops, actually. Hang on. So for the inbound stuff, we need to just take out all of this and go up to Reading Station. The second one, because it's inbound. Obviously, we're terminating at one and starting at the next. It will make it do that weird, like, off-centered for, like, uh, unaligned thing with the uh, split timetable, but it's fine. So, looking here, um, we want to go to... Reading Station is not the terminus, it's just this end, isn't it? So, the last timing point will obviously have been the post office. No, it won't have been even. So, we'll go from the top and work our way down. So, going from Reading, I think um, the Lidl should be the timing point for three minutes. So, 31 there. And then Miro Park and Ride will leave at exactly 45. And then the rest will just leave them as they were. So, it's 123 minutes. Has that changed the number of buses we need? Actually, let's finish it and then we'll check that. So, that's coming inbound, coming outbound, modified bus stops. Um, and just, this is just one of multiple extensions I want to do. I'm going to monitor the time anyway, but if I'm not finished what I've got them in mind to do, and I've got time to record the next, I will just do it. So I do apologise if there's two in a row again that recorded one after the other, but again, still leave your feedback because they will be it will be implemented. Some of the stuff you've already suggested, for example, is going to be going in as you've already seen. So Mere Oak, Park and Ride, we'll wait till 75 there, that's fine. And then Little, for, that's perfect, look at that, 75 and 85, just what I wanted. So now, um, easy, no, time to put preview. So Monday to Friday, 5.20, gets in at 7.08. So we could have the first bus be the 7.10, 7.15 off that end, but if we have a 6.45 as the first one, well, mind you, what's the first bus this way? 5.20. I guess technically we could just have it as the 5.45 then, off the other end. Um, it means that there'll be quite a few... Oh no, I'll tell you what, we will make it 6.15 because it should be one less bus needed then. Um, like that. Because we could even... 5.20 to 7.08, 7.08, that's 7.15. So there'll be two going that way and then two going that way. So it should be four leaving at a time, plus well, to start with, and then more. So that might reduce the number of buses we actually need. Although we could make this first one be the 5.50. However, that means, no, because it will still have to leave. No, it's fine. It doesn't make a difference. Okay, so Saturday. So let's just copy these first. We don't need to do the breaks after tours as well, actually, because um, I don't think there's any point doing a break after tours. I think it reduces your driver stress. I'm not 100% on that. If someone can explain if they're more beneficial, let me know. But for now, we're going to avoid using them as much as possible because um, of the fact that the... Um, yeah, we'll have to drop, increase that, definitely. Every two hours, we'll, um, we'll change that. What I'll actually do is we're going to scrap the Saturday timetable and just introduce that Monday to Saturday instead. Because again, Saturday, uh, oh, Monday to Saturday out down. We're going to do that, and then what will happen as well is when we do the full timetable, the weekday timetable will start earlier. And no, the half hourly uh, frequency will continue at the first couple of buses and stuff, and it may start earlier as well. Um, so let's do that. Let's check that we got the destination on that one ticked. Copy that and paste it into there. I don't know why the times don't line up, but the stops do. That's really weird. And it'll be every... F we'll do every hour on a su Sunday for now. That's just so we can reduce the number of buses we need to utilise. But it does not mean that we um, won't improve it later down the line. We're not sticking to 60. It's just temporarily. That's that, and then um, leave it on Route 110 there, because we're going to change that now. So confirm that. Uh, before I do anything, let me just manage my vehicle groups. Uh, close this, there we go. Manage vehicle groups, boom, and just go to 106, which I think is back here somewhere. 106, there we go, Route 51. Cool, that's that. And what we're going to do now is just pop onto that one. Let's just see, where's 51 gone now? So where's the 51 go? Is it by... Is it going to go there? No. I can't find the 51 now. Has it stayed as 110? Why has it not changed to 51? Did I not... Did I not hit save? Oh, Lord. Um, I did change the route. That's good. Show timetable. I didn't hit save. Great. Okay. You'll have to bear with me on... No, I did hit save. What? Timetable preview. Was it not update until the next day? Maybe it doesn't. Okay, so... That's fine. 708. Yeah, perfect. Right. 
Okay, and then on Sundays, just to check, so the first bus is now 9.20. We need to change that because it's a much more important service now. We'll go to 7.50. until uh, 2050. So the 110 is having a big upgrade here then. 2050. Every hour then. And then time to preview. So let's just have a look at that. Sunday. Cool. So that comes in at 9.38. So that will be the 9.50 off Reading that. But then we also want an 8 and a 7.50 off that end too. So if we just have a 7.50 to... Um, we say 7.50 to 7.50 actually one way. But then from Reading... 750 until 2050. So it'll be one more bus the other way, I think. Just because. Um, hang on, let me try this actually. If I just try shifting them like that, does that make sense? So on a Sunday, it will go 750 to 950. So then one goes the other way. And then the last bus of the day will finish at Reading Station. That's actually not too bad, I guess. And then one finishes at Alder Mason later than that. Oh, that's the la last bus. Of the that's a bit late, actually, then. No. 19.50 both ways. Just for the Sunday, because it's a bit late. Her bus is finishing at a place like Alder Mason. Right. Confirm that. Brilliant. So that will change tomorrow. Now, again, just going to check the time we're up to. 26.50. Okay, so what we'll do then, we'll extend one more route, and it's going to change... A number as well, I think. I'm not too sure where it's running from. Where's the 107 been run by? Basingstoke. Okay, so where's that running from? Running from Bramley. See, Bramley's a bit of a random place to start it, but I think it's okay. But I want to extend this up to here at Wokingham. So I think we'll do that We'll do that next, but that'll be in the next episode. Well, not next. We'll do that in the next episode. Let's just see... Sorry, the 110. What's the number of buses it needs? It still says the one. Oh, no, it's changed now. There we go. 51. Uh, show timetable. Not show. Edit timetable, easy mode. So it's now going to want. Did it say 10 buses? I know I just checked before, but I want to make sure, and then I can work on that. Okay, nine buses, up to 200. So we could make the one, the 51 double deckers, or we could leave it as, as single deckers but longer ones, and then scrap the metro cities. Um, what the metro cities could go on, I'm not too sure yet, but we can work with that. We'll leave the allocation as it is. We'll start buying new electrics for the route now. Because we will have it electric, I think. Now, let's just have a look at what we have in the marketplace to buy. Buy new bus, solo buses. Because we still have research to do as well. What do we have in the 80 passenger range? There is the new SGM. I've not... I was going to launch that in Newcastle, but that could be interesting to launch here. I have done a livery for it. Do we do SGMs? Hmm. I like that idea, actually. And we could have premium seats on that. And it could be like a... We could give it a route branding down the line, couldn't we? Yeah, we'll do that. We'll do SGMs. Let's go for... Can I potentially trick this system? Oh, no, it's just not liking me today, is it? We're going to go one more risk. Oh, okay. Okay, hang on. We can work this out. This will work. We just have to pay a little bit of that off. Let me... Just... Oh, that's what I wanted to do. We'll do that before we finish the episode. Let's quickly go back to Basingstoke and just go for our staff because there's a lot of stress levels and I want to work out what's going on. So bus drivers are okay, but we're going to need even more of those, really. Mechanics are not too bad, however, they do get a bit stressed. The researchers are fine now, but they do, but the cleaners are getting very stressed. So let's just get loads more cleaners. They need lockers. Okay, do we have a locker room on this save? I don't think we do, do we? No. We have got just corridors and stuff. Now, there is loads of depot to work with as well. So what we could do, we could have a locker room at the back here, you see. We can go to corridor, right, and just build a massive room. Not massive, but a pretty big room back here. Let's say 15 for now. This is gonna. Look, I know we need money for that loan, but let's do this now, and I can do the rest off camera. I could do some more work, not off camera, in the next episode. We'll do the, ne the, the rest of the work. Do that, and then. Oh, is it that? They placed the right way, didn't they? Yeah. Okay, do that, and then we can have one there, one there. We can then put these along here. Good. Do this for now. That will just start us off. We can always get more later. They're not too expensive corridor uh, lockers. So that's fine. So employees, cleaners, hiring employees. Let's just get a few of these. Let's get some of the low-paid ones. And we're going to change the uh, wages as well. Because there was a complaint, not from you guys. Um, if you go into my inbox, a lot of people are moaning about their... Um, is, are they leaving or... No. But they all want a pay rise, you see. Now... We can afford that, technically. 
but we have to address how we're going to do it. So let's have a look at bus drivers first. So bus drivers, because what are we spending on? Wages? Where are they? Staff. I think 70 grand a day though. That's a lot of money to pay staff. But I guess it's okay if, if it keeps them happier, then I guess that's fine, right? Because we've got experts. They can be paid... Yeah, there you go. Bus driver expert. They need to be paid 16. See, the novices are meant to be paid more than 13. They're meant to be on 15. Uh, 14, 50, sorry. Like that. And then advanced. We're going to need advanced drivers there. There's an advanced there. They're on 14. They're on 15. 50. What we'll do then? Let's get experts paid on 17, shall we? Just that will make everyone happy then. And there you go. Now, this advanced bus driver is very stressed. I don't understand what's going on. They, Yeah, look, they're getting shifts. So we need more drivers somehow. I don't think the game still picks drivers properly, but it's fine. Now, mechanics. They're being paid a lot. So, £17 an hour for an advanced mechanic. If we can go down to 15 for advanced. Novice, 14. And expert could be paid 16 50 17 sorry. £17 an hour. If it will... The game is having a moment. There we go. I think it's gone to a really laggy part of the game, weirdly enough. What we'll do, how about this? Let's go for... Where are you? Where's that stress driver? You. No, we'll leave it for now. Um, researchers. Okay, expert. Wait, I hired an expert? That's an... No. I don't know. Where are you? I'm not too sure. Staff. Researchers. Where are you? Ghost. Maybe they're at home or something. So, experts for research should be paid 1450 that's just reasonable enough. And I think they're all experts now, so that's fine. Yeah. We don't need any more of those just yet. We might have to look at that down the line. And then cleaners. <coughs> cleaners. If we go for £11... Wait, what is this? This is advanced, so let's go for 12 50 an hour on advanced. Novice can be 11 50 That's a tire looked white for a second. Um... But they are still very stressed, the cleaners. And then trainees, we need to get them trained. So let's just train you up quickly. Because I don't want any trainees of anything now. Can we get any more cleaners that are not trainee then? Let's get novices instead of going for cheap. Good, my employees. Novice. See what we do. 12.50 for novice. And advanced can get 14. 13.50. There we go. And then experts will get 14 pounds. So that's perfect. So that sorts that. And then service employees, final ones. Now these guys will deal with customers and frankly I know that they deserve more money for that. So we're going to give them a massive £19 an hour if they're experts. Because I just think they deserve that. We have two of them off ill, which is not good. Um, they're all both, they're the ones that are stressed though, which is interesting. But we're going to get more of them because we're going to be running on service employees and they're going to start getting more stressed. Whether the stress causes people to be more ill, I don't actually know. Come on. Our employees? Is it that you click? Yeah, there you go. Novice. The trainee there, but the friendly. But let's just go friendly novice. And then <coughs> friendly novice. There we go. My employees. So novices will be paid. I'll tell you what, not 13, 15 for novices. And then 18 for experts. There we go. Perfect. Right, well, that pretty much well rounds up today's episode. In the next episode, which will be recorded straight after this, I'm going to crack on with what I said I'll do. So the next thing I'm going to do is obviously extend the Route 107 into um, into Wokingham. And then we're going to be looking at just general capacities as well in that episode. So I'll see you guys in the next one, which will be straight after this. But thank you all very much for watching. I've been Lucy Michaela, and I will see you in the next episode. Goodbye for now.